Today I want to talk about one of my favorite novels and movies of all time. Not that one, the other one. <sighs> Great Gatsby. Gatsby was written by F. Scott Fitzgerald and published in 1925. He uses vivid imagery, fantastic symbolism, and a unique narration by Nick Carraway. For those who don't have a TV or access to reliable book supply, here's a brief synopsis. Gatsby is cool rich dude who has a crush. He falls in love. His girlfriend hits a woman with car. Gatsby gets killed because woman's husband thinks Gatsby did it. The Great Gatsby is a contemporary piece which has themes and moral questions that could still be asked and considered to this day. Themes about gender, dissatisfaction, morality, and marriage are present in the book and are still talked about in the modern times. The Great Gatsby was probably the first book in the 20th century to ask if the American dream was still achievable. Gatsby has many modern arguments, but Fitzgerald encompasses his story with traits from the ancient Greek myths. Greek myths at their core were cautionary tales about fantastic voyages or all-powerful gods creating the universe. These myths were able to teach lessons throughout thousands of generations and are even told to this day. I believe that around the start of realism, era stories like Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, The Jungle, Moby Dick, and Great Gatsby reverted back to the lesson or moral being the center of the novel, and the setting and characters are used to entertain and sell the meaning of the story. There are an excessive amounts of connections between The Great Gatsby and the Greek myths. With Jay Gatsby, the first connection was with Orpheus. Who led his dead? Who led his? Who led his dead wife out of the underworld? Hades allowed this, with the exception of Orpheus, unable to look back to see his wife, for she would stay in the underworld forever. Unable to resist, Orpheus finally looked back, and his wife disappeared. This is easily compared to the Gatsby story of rekindling the love with Daisy Buchanan, with the underworld possibly representing Tom Buchanan, or worse, the present. The story of Tom Buchanan, his mistress Myrtle Wilson, and Myrtle Wilson's husband, George Wilson, strike an eerie resemblance to the Greek gods Ares, the god of war, Aphrodite, the god of love, and Hephaestus, the god of the forge. Nick describes Tom as a sturdy, straw-haired man of thirty with a rather hard mouth and a superlicious manner, two shining, arrogant eyes, and gave him an appearance of always leaning aggressively forward was a body capable of enormous leverage, a cruel body. Fitzgerald describes Wilson as a spiritless man, anemic and faintly handsome. Tom describes him, he's so dumb he doesn't even know he's alive. And the... Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. The Battle of the Labyrinth, uh... On page 188 of Percy Jackson, The Battle of the Labyrinth, Hephaestus is described, His left shoulder was lower than the right. His head was misshapen and bulging. He wore a permanent scalp. Myrtle Wilson described as, Her face contained no faucet or gleam of beauty. But there was an... There was an immediately perceptible vitality about her as if the nerves of her body were continually smoldering. Daisy Buchanan can also be influenced by Aphrodite, with a look promising there was no one in the world she so much wanted to see. Daisy's murmur was only to make people lean toward her, an excitement in her voice that men who cared for her would never forget, which can lean back to Gatsby representing the Greek sculptor Pygmalion, who sculpted Aphrodite's likeness. This is compared to Gatsby's imagination of Daisy's past self being perfect. Both eras of the method of storytelling eventually became less popular due to new mediums. In Greece, there were places to go see actors put on plays instead of gathering around an old figure to tell stories. Stories like Oedipus and Theseus thrived in the amphitheater environment. They were easily staged, unlike the story of Perseus, where huge and complex monsters would need to be shown. Great Gatsby was published when cinema was taking its first strides and was becoming more and more popular. Books like The Hobbit and Princess of Mars attracted a broader audience making an improved fantasy genre and a new science fiction genre. Greek myths have had a revival due to claymation and CGI, creating movies like 
Clash of the Titans and Immortals to retell the old Greek myths in a new style, bringing its imagination to the screen. Recent books like No Country for Old Men and Breakfast of Champions are written in the same format, making the novels almost as timeless as Great Gatsby. Let's <laughs> go!